Okay, it's day 21 of our trip to the Treasure Coast. And we got up early and we are back on the beach at Siesta Beach. And uh, it gets busy quick. One thing I wish I would have done yesterday was time lapse the number of people that came in after us. So hopefully I'll get that today. Um, a little more drone footage. Hopefully I can scream, see my screen better and I don't try to dunk it in the ocean again. And uh, I don't know, we've got a few things we still want to do here and we've got today and tomorrow left. So uh, follow us along. Okay, so feeling a little frustrated right now. Um, I was getting ready to go out metal detecting the beast today. It's a pretty busy day yesterday, so I thought there might be some things left over from yesterday that people lost or are missing. And uh, noticed I didn't grab my scoop, my sand scoop, that's about 80, 90 bucks. Um, had it in the back of my truck this whole time on vacation. Went to the parking lot, which is a good distance from where we are. And it's not in the truck. And so I thought, well, maybe I left it by the concession area yesterday. Luckily, I video things for this video, for the videos you're watching. And look back, and sure enough, it's not where the last place uh, is that I left it. And so uh, evidently, sometime yesterday or sometime this morning when I uh, parked my truck, somebody got in the back and took it. So kind of frustrating. It's not the end of the world, but it does put an end to my metal detecting on the beach until I get another one. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, it's kind of a rough deal. I don't understand people that take things that belong to other people. And I guess their attitude was we, you were stupid enough to leave it out in the open. Well, no, I just have a trusting nature and I don't expect people to come and take my stuff. And so I don't understand a thief's attitude or mentality. Um, but anyway, that being said, just kind of frustrating. So uh, anyway, not going to let it ruin my trip. Still having a good day. So the beach is starting to get busier. It's about 10 o'clock. It took a while for people to start showing up, but now I'm starting to see a little bit more of a crowd. Yesterday was even busier. The water today is a little more murky than it was yesterday. Yesterday was crystal clear. You can see all the way down to your feet from your chest down. Uh, nothing to obstruct the view. Um, quite a few people walking the beach now and starting to set up. Uh, got some parasailing going on here. There's a couple boats. They were out here yesterday too. Never done that. That's something that I'd love to do one day, just not looking at this trip, maybe on a future trip. But uh, both parasails right now have uh, two people per shoot going on. So let's take a look at those if we can. So you can see this one right here, this yellow and blue one. We'll try to zoom up on it. Right there, you kind of, it's quite a distance from me. Uh, there's two of people on that one. And then over here, we'll kind of zoom back out a minute. So my GoPro over there on my card is doing the time lapse that you guys have watched by now or will be watching. But right there is another parasail. It's uh, red, white, and blue. It's got two people on it also. This parasail right now is being brought back into the boat. That's kind of cool. They're pretty close to us. So they'll land on the dock or the deck right here at the back of the boat.
Okay, so in our search for things to do here in Sarasota, one of the stopping points is uh, the Point of Rocks, if you're into snorkeling. Um, I don't think it's actually a reef. I think there's just some rocks or jetty where they say you can see sea life. Um, if the water's anything like it was at the beach today, it's kind of murky and um, cloudy, so I'm not sure what the visibility will be like today. Wish it was like yesterday's water, which was just crystal clear. But I'll take you along snorkeling with me. We'll get in the water, check it out, and uh, see what's going on. Hopefully there's not uh, too many jellyfish around. That'll get me out of the water pretty quick. Um, don't want to get tangled up in those. So uh, anyway, we'll check it out today. Take you along and see how it goes. If you decide after watching this, you want to come to the Point of Keys, or Point of Rocks, to go snorkeling, uh, plan on parking a distant ways away because um, there was no parking in this area anywhere close to where we need to go. So we had to park in a public space that's uh, in a little shopping area and then headed this way. So about probably two and a half, three blocks from where we parked. My hopes are probably dashed. Uh, a couple was just coming out with some snorkeling gear and asked him how the snorkeling was today as we're heading in. And they said, not good, it's not clear today. It's hard to give up yesterday to come over here because we had such a good time yesterday on the beach. So it is what it is. That's nature. That's how it plays out sometimes. You get good days, you get some not so good days. But I'll still get out there. You guys can deal with the murkiness of the water with me. And uh, if nothing else, I'll cool off a little bit and then feel sticky later. It's salt water, you know. Okay, here we are coming out of the trail to the point of rocks. And uh, quite a few beachgoers over here too. You know, it's just one line of beach, actually. They just break it up into sections to give a name to it. Not sure where the Point of Rocks is located. Guess I'll look for people snorkeling and see where they're going. So anyway, here's those parasails we saw earlier. We've got a little place over here, a little property or something over there. Oh, wow. You can tell where the resorts are. They have all these chairs available to lay in. Got my fins on and ready to head out. The point is right out there. Just have to swim out there a little bit, see a few people with some goggles on. And uh, we'll get set up. My battery's running a little bit low on my GoPro, so I'll be pretty critical of how, what I'm filming. And uh, running the time lapse just to kind of consume my battery. So uh, let's get after it. See, it's uh, super murky in there. Visibility is almost, I mean, yeah, I can see my hand in front of my face, and you probably saw me when I turned the camera towards myself, but I know there's a jellyfish out here. Somebody saw it earlier. So the downside to being out here is not seeing those things from a distance and then getting mixed up in them. So I'm gonna walk up on this ledge real quick and we'll look off in the water a little bit together. Not too sure how, how fun it is to snorkel out here when you can't see what's going on around you. I'm not really scared of sharks so much as I am running into some jellyfish that might be out here. There's a small jellyfish right there. I don't know if you can see him on camera. There's only one of them. That's all it takes to get stung though. Being in uh, low visibility, kind of hard to see. I see actually more standing on the surface here looking through the water than I do in the water itself. You see all those rocks right there. It actually looks clearer up here than it does in the water itself. You can see uh, dark areas out there that's also rocks. Kayaker here. Bunch of algae on the rocks here, kind of slippery. 
I wouldn't want to be right here anyway. There's too many waves crashing up. You'd be thrown up against the rocks. I tear you up. Seemed like yesterday was just a lot calmer, a lot clearer water, a lot better visibility. I can see some orange in the water here. You might have seen some of that on camera when I was snorkeling a little bit. I think that's some sort of coral maybe growing on there. You can see it through the water here. See some orange patches right through there. Just snorkeling today, a little bit of a bust. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're concluding the evening coming out here to Lido Key Beach. This is uh, the number one spot to come to if you want to do some sunset pictures. And so we brought my camera out. We're going to do a few shots here on the beach, a little photo session. Using my tripod, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. But you can kind of see the sun. Oh man, where's it at? Probably right here, blinding it. It's kind of blown out on my screen right now. But anyway, um, it's on a different island. This is, what island is this, you know? Not sure what island it is. It's not the same one we were on earlier for Siesta Key. Anyway, we went over a different bridge, kind of came downtown. Anyway, uh, pretty pleasant out here. Not a whole lot of people. It might get a little more populated as uh, sunset comes near. But uh, anyway, we'll do some, do some shots. We'll see how it goes. Since we got here a little bit early, we thought we'd walk the beach line a little bit. Man, there are so many dead marine life up here on the on the banks due to the red tide that's going on. Check this weird. No idea what this guy is. Then there's all these eels and everything else. It's just disgusting. A lot of people out there swimming with all this stuff floating around, dead. This one's like a dead catfish. Everybody's looking at over here. kind of sad it's taking out so many marine organisms a dead fish right there I'll be editing any of that out off the beach of any pictures we take that's for sure okay so here's this amazing sunset right here on the western side of Florida on the Gulf Coast and couldn't get any of these pictures on the other side because we were on the sunrise side uh, earlier in Rarely do we get up early enough to actually see the sunrise. I think I did it on a couple occasions, uh, metal detecting, but outside of that, we were kind of uh, inside during that time. So it's kind of nice to be out here in the evening, watching the sunset here together. Took a few photos together and uh, that was pretty fun. So anyway, uh, we're probably gonna find a place to eat tonight and then that should be a wrap up for tonight. So let's go find some place to eat. Tom. We uh, were just kind of driving around and came across this area here um, outside of Lido Key. And it's just full of stores and shops and restaurants and things. However, we we don't set our meal time around everybody else's normal meal time. Like most people eat at 6.30. We just eat whenever. It could be 9 o'clock in the evening and that's when we're eating dinner. It doesn't matter to us. Whenever we're hungry, we're eating. And uh, unfortunately, that kind of limits us on where we can eat because they start closing early in some of these places about 8.30, we noticed online. So we might be eating at a camper or grabbing something to go on the way there from a fast food place. Um, saw a pizza place up here. I don't know, maybe it's still open. There are still so many cars and people down here. It would surprise me if everything's closing up, but it could be. Um, if we have more time, maybe even tomorrow, we might head down here and check this out. But uh, it is crazy how many things there are down here. Had no idea. So 
so we're in luck. It looks like they have some space available. We're on about a 30 minute wait. They're open until about 10.30, the kitchen. So uh, that's good. It's nice to know there's other people out there that don't care about eating later. So that's us too. So anyway, we're looking forward to eating here. Okay, so we're gonna go with the buffalo style chicken wings right here. And then we're gonna split Cuban sandwich. Right there. So it's pretty good. Here's kind of where we are right now. We're inside. There's about 30 minutes to get a table. Got some big screens up here with sports stuff going on. Daiquiri bar over there. Upstairs area. 